Following the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, many countries, scientists, herbalists, and even some individuals made frantic efforts to get a remedy for the fight against the disease. In Ghana, the use of vitamin C, dexamethasone, among other medications, were rushed for. This was amid compliance with the health safety protocols, which included the wearing of nose masks, the use of hand sanitizers, the regular washing of hands under running water with soap, and also some resorted to the use of face shields and even hand gloves. Organizations and institutions resorted to the use of Veronica buckets for easy washing of hands by visitors. The prices of these products in the wake of the pandemic were exorbitant due to the increased demand. Progressively, the desire shifted towards the use of hydrogen peroxide, a mild antiseptic used to prevent infections on wounds or burns and also used sometimes as a mouthwash. We are here at the Makula market to find out from traders of these products how sales are faring. Government Sometimes we ban our price now. We talk, we on so bad. If we move to Miss Age and it's over cop, now we are coming with five hundred ton. But we are ban on the price now. We talk. And they say more ton is enough. First, now more ton is enough. Oh, first, now now it be a twenty-five, it be a thirty. By the sea, no six CD and a nine CD. There was a rumor going out that uh, the hydrogen is one of the remedy for the COVID. So people were rushing it for it, and uh, we were also buying it and selling. Yeah, I think a day we can even sell like uh, two or three cartons. That's uh, about 300 to 200 bottles a day. But now it's not moving at all. So how much were you selling one bottle? At that time it was uh, six cities, but now it's three cities. But do you sell um, no masks? Do you sell sanitizers here? Yeah? Uh, yes, but now it's it's not moving at all. It's not moving. We don't even sell it again here. Yeah. As you can see, but for the sanitizers, once a while you buy one, 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 one. But it's not moving. It's no used to be like the first. But how much do you sell uh, nose marks, a box of it? Now, it, I think it goes for, I think, two, four cities. Yeah, four cities for the 50. But previously, how much were you selling? Uh, it was around 200 Ghana at that time. Yes, 280, from 200 to 150 to 80 to 50 Ghana to 25 cities, and now it's... Four cities. So, have you had the opportunity to sell face shields? Face shield. Yes. When it came first, I bought it 35 cities. I bought my 35 cities. And people were selling in 50 Ghana. Uh -huh. But I bought my uh, 35 cities. With a seeming decline in active cases of COVID 19, there has also been a total decline in the purchase of products such as nose masks, facials, and hand sanitizers on the market. Reporting from the Okanshi Drugstore Lane in Accra, my name is Ni Ayukwe Okain for City News. In July 2020, authorities confirmed that 55 persons at the Accra Girls Senior High School had tested positive for COVID-19. 
a joint statement issued by the Ghana Health Service and the Ghana Education Service on Monday, July 13, 2020, said that the infected persons included students and staff of the school. Reports indicated that out of the 314 cases that were detected after testing for the virus, 259 persons tested negative. It's been eight months since the development, so how has the school fared? Headmistress of the school, Mrs. Gifty Ando, attempted some answers. First of all, when you get to the school at the gate, security, you are checked, you are taken through COVID protocols. The security men check your temperature, they record your name for contact tracing, you come inside and you have to wash your hand. Then you are given the sanitizer to use. Yes. So that is at the security area. Now the students are also uh, given each student, the government brought in sanitizer. Uh, these uh, COVID items, we have sanitizer, Veronica buckets, and uh, no smarts. And so each student has one sanitizer to use. They are, we ensure that they adhere strictly to the protocols. So they are always seen in their nose marks. City News observed that many students wear in their nose mask. I entered some classrooms to observe how the students were complying with the safety protocols. Well, it has been a trying time, as we all know. But looking at the situation here, everything is in order. Uh, we have all the materials we need to protect ourselves. As you can see, I have my nose mask on and everything is in order here. Very well, they have been observing it very well. Looking at it, they wash their hands regularly. If you check around the compound, you see the Veronica buckets with their hand sanitizers and everything. When they come to class, they have that in class. And classes that are with uh, small numbers, they observe the social distancing and it's quite good. As of now, it's going very well because we are observing all the safety protocols. We've been social distancing ourselves washing our hands frequently and then we'll be using our hand sanitizers too. Mm. But there are some of your friends who are very difficult to adhere to the protocols. What, what have you been telling them? We try to advise them to take notice of all the safety protocols and because of what happened last year, everybody is safety conscious. We were in house and we heard of the COVID in the school. We were scared. When we came to the school and we saw everything nice in the school, we are proud, like, we have the confidence because they, they've been taking care of us well. We use our sanitizers, we wear our nose masks, we are water, place advantage points, we wash our hands. The school has a number of sanctions for students who flout the safety protocols. We believe in education and orientation. We believe that every human being can have a change of mind. Sometimes, for the purposes of convenience, it is not pleasant to be in the mask for a very long time. Mm. So, once in a while, you find people who are either getting stressed up and they try to take it off for the other way around. Mm. But then, when you prompt them and you educate them, tell them the consequences of one person's action or reaction.